In this section, we will discuss protocol layers and service models. But what is a protocol? Let's start from an example. Let's say I want to ask a question, like the time, from another person I randomly meet. I first start with saying hi. If they answer saying hi instead of saying, sorry, I'm busy, I know they understand my language and they're willing to respond. And I can ask my question and I proceed with it. I ask them, what time is it? And they answer the time. This exchange happens in a way that two sides understand each other and answer to each other's communication. There are specific messages and there are specific replies or actions in response to each message. This could be considered a human protocol. Now, let's define a protocol in the context of computer networks. Protocols define format, order of messages sent and received among network entities, and actions taken on message transmission and receipt. Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, Internet Protocol, IP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP, Skype, and 802.11, better known as Wi-Fi, are among well-known protocols that we will learn briefly about in this course. An important note here is that protocols might be open or they might be proprietary. For example, HTTP is an open protocol, but Skype is a proprietary protocol, meaning that it belongs to a specific body and details of the protocol is not openly available. But for HTTP, it is openly available. For all of the entities in the internet to understand each other, it is important that these entities agree on the protocols they use to communicate. Internet Engineering Task Force, IETF, standardizes these protocols so everyone could understand them. Documents used for defining these standards are called Requests for Comments, or RFCs in short. IETF currently has more than 7,000 RFCs. There are other bodies that specify standards for components interacting with the network. For example, IEEE also has a standards committee specifying link standards. And here we can see an example RFC definition. You can browse for more on IETF website.